Today I thought that I would do the mid-year freak out book tag. Now, I haven't been tagged by anybody. I was nosing on YouTube for book tags and I seen this one. And I thought, why not? So I'm just going to read the questions out. And basically, if you see me like disappear, it's because my bookshelf, so I've got obviously some books up there. But my bookshelf is behind me here. So where are my books are? On my bookshelf, where you look back to find them. Sometimes I worry about myself when I film like these videos, the randomness I come out with. But anyway, like I said, I'm just going to read questions out and uh, answer them. Best book you've read so far in 2016? For me, this was no contest. No contest. Um, and it's Reason to Stay Alive by Matt Haig. I've done a review video on this book. Even just thinking about this book fills me with emotion. It is a book about um, Matt's battle with depression and anxiety. And it is absolutely amazing. I say, I don't want to wobble on about it, but basically, go and watch my video, go and buy this book, if you've got depression, no someone with depression, go and buy this book, for them, had depression, read this book, oh, I think this is up there with my not only my favourite book of 2016, but my favourite book of all time. Absolutely amazing. Next question is, best sequel you've read so far in 2016? Hmm. That's a quite a bit of a difficult one for me because I haven't actually read any sequels and I've read a load of great first books but for some reason I don't get round to reading the second or third book even though I've got a lot of um, trilogies and duologies in my collection um, one, one of my goals for this year is basically to finish series instead of starting new ones so I'm going to move on to the next question new release you haven't read yet but want to have it A Court of Mist and Fury I'm reading Illuminate at the moment and I'm listening to, the Ra listening to the Raven Boys this is going to be my next book because basically I read A Court of Thorns and Roses oh my I loved it I loved the steaminess of it I loved the adult orientation of it the, the you know, it's young adult, but oh my god, is it steamy. I believe this is basically just blows the first one out of the window. Out of, out of the window? <laughs> out, of the, out of the park. Um, it, I believe it's steamier. Yeah. Um, it's a chunk of a book, book. So that's like the thing that's making me not want to read it. But having heard, you know, what people say about it and the fact that people say that it's absolutely amazing yeah this is definitely on my tbr very very shortly most anticipated release for the second half of the year now if i can i won't say it pictures but don't hold your breath guys oh my god um where to start replica don't know what that was outside if you did that someone's having a Meltdown, um, replica by Lauren um, Oliver, Gemina by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, and like I said, I'm reading Illuminae. It's on the bed there. Didn't think I'd like it. Oh my god, amazing book. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Cannot wait for Heartless to come out. Um, 
The Sun is also a star by Nicole Nicola Yoon. I, my last video, well, if I put them up in this the race order, it will have been my last video, will have been me discussing the book. Um, oh, Truth Witch, Truth Witch is coming out in paperback, I think in about November. So, loads of books that I can't wait. Biggest disappointment. Um, I'm going to go for two books for this one. And I'm going to reserve judging until a little bit at the moment because I haven't actually finished them. The first one is I'll Give You the Sun by Jansi Nelson. Read about two chapters of it. But no. No, it wasn't for me. Um, it's actually up there, which is why... I haven't bothered getting it down because I can't be bothered standing on me little stool and getting it. Um, I know it's some people think it's amazing, but for me it was a no. I may try it again. And another disappointment for me, um, and I've read about half of it and basically just thought no, I wasn't into it, is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Now I love Since You've Been Gone. Since You've Been Gone, I thought it was an absolute amazing book. The way that Morgan made me go from you know, hating, not hating, but seeing Emily, the main character, as so weak to really, really loving, loving her and rooting for her by the end of the book. But the unexpected everything at the moment is just not doing anything for me. So for me, they are my biggest disappointment. Mints. Biggest surprise. Biggest surprise because I thought that I would hate this book and it would it took me so long to pick it up off my bookshelf was Throw the Glass by Sarah J. Mass. I loved this book. I thought Selena was amazing, is amazing. This is the only book I've read in the um Fern Glass series because I do think that Sarah J. Mass's books, you know, there's a lot of thinking involved of it. You know, there's a lot of fancy elements and world world building, and you know, you've got to really be in the mood for it. But oh my god, I loved it. I have all of um the books, so basically, you know, I can go in and read it uh, any time I want. And I believe the series gets better. Um, and I believe from what some people have been saying, it takes a bit of a different turn um, as we go on. But yeah, that was my biggest surprise. Is favourite new author, debut or new to you? And I'm basically just going to go with um, the last author that I went for. I'm going to go for Sarah J Mass because... She, she basically is fairly new to me this year. I've never read any of her books, even I know, you know, Fern Glass has been out for years. And I just think the way she writes and the way she builds worlds is amazing. I'm going to keep this in my hand for newest fictional crush. Basically, Tamlin in this. When he's like the beast. And he has that magic night. So steamy. So steamy. I remember reading it. I was like, oh. Can't wait to read the next one. Get steamy, apparently. That'll do me. It's what we want. We're not talking Fifty Shades of Grey steamy. But basically, that, that was just shit that, you know. It was alright, Fifty Shades of Grey. You know, any words, bloody like things like that. I could write something like that. So, but tell me. Mm -hmm. Question is newest favorite character. Oh, um, I have loads. Um, I love um, Selena in Throne of Glass. I love Fea. In A Course of Thorns and Roses. Um, oh, so many, so many. Books that made me cry. 
guys. Enough said. Books that made me happy. From Park by Rainbow Rowell. Beautiful, adorable, so cute. Harry Potter. Harry Potter makes me happy. Um, I'm listening, also listening to um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone being read by Stephen Fry. If you've got the chance to listen to it, go and listen to it because he is amazing. Um, most beautiful books you bought so far this year or received? Hmm. Bit of a change round, guys. Um, basically, gorgeous Harry Potter books. Oh, they're just stunning, aren't they? I won't go through. I won't go through every single one. Let me just put you back down. About that, guys, I'm gonna move on out. Um, what books do you need to read by the end of the year? Oh my, absolute loads. I need to fill and finish the Lunar Chronicles off. I need to read more Throne of Glass. I need to finish the Fifth Wave trilogy off. Um, of most of my books on my bookshelf. Um, and that, thank God. Is it, guys? How many bloody questions was that? And I think it, that was going to be that long. Um, I know it's been quite random, guys, me moving around everywhere and basically talking a load of shit as normal. But as usual, I shall love you and leave you. And I shall see you all soon. Bye.